Monoflex XL BRS system. For repairs in the bead area of giant OTR tyres with a bead sole width of 4.75 inches, between 4000R57 and 5985R63. Components Control panel TRRSD, bead heat pad XL BRS 14 by 4.75H, wrap heat pad XL BRS 41 12H. Airbag XL BRS 4313A Bead Block XL BRS BB Housing XL BRS H Utilising over 40 years experience, the Monoflex system has been developed to be hard wearing, efficient and as simple to use as possible. Location of the worksite should be chosen so that the tyre and the Monoflex equipment are close enough to the control panel to prevent strain on either the electrical or air connections. Rotate the tyre so that the repair area is positioned centrally at the bottom. Liberally cover both sides of the heat pads with tyre talc to reduce friction in use. Clear any excess talc from the surface of the pads. Fold the XL BRS 4313A airbag in half and locate the valve through the hole on the inner leg of the housing. Place the rubber and metal washer on the valve stem. And screw the valve nut down finger tight to hold in place. Screw the black air hose onto the valve and tighten with a spanner. Loosen the valve nut back up to the air hose after it's been attached to allow free movement of the covers beneath the metal frame. Before use, it's recommended that both heat pads are preheated to approximately 50 degrees centigrade or 122 degrees Fahrenheit to increase flexibility and aid installation on the tyre. Connect the wraparound heat pad XL BRS 4112H to the left control lead and the bead heat pad XL BRS 14 by 4.75H to the right control lead. To preheat, power up the control panel and hold down the start button on the timer. The displays will illuminate and show the current temperature. Wait for both heat pads to reach between 50 and 70 degrees centigrade. Press and hold the stop button on the timer. Place the bead heat pad centrally over the repair area with the labels facing down. Match the contour of the bead block base with the contour of the tyre bead. Place the wraparound heat pad centrally over the bead block so that it hangs equally down either side of the repair area. Secure the heat pad tabs to the bead block using four screws. Take the inner leg of the XL BRS assembly and drop centrally over the component on the tyre. The frame should be standing vertically and the heat pads and airbags should be checked they are aligned and not folded over. Position the outer assembly so that the bars can be inserted through the receiving tubes. Bring the outer section tight up to the components on the tyre. When fully engaged, place the locking pins into the appropriate holes in the frame. Connect the black air supply line to the black hose on the airbag. With the incoming air tap open, use the black regulator knob to adjust the pressure on the air gauge to 30 psi. When set correctly, lock off by pushing the regulator knobs down to click. Prior to final inflation, check that all leads and electrical connections are securely connected and nothing is trapped between the system and the tyre. Commence inflation of the airbag by pulling down the blue slide valve on the base of the control panel. The airbag will rapidly inflate to operating pressure. To begin the cure process, press down the start button on the timer. When the temperature on both heat pads reaches approximately 120 degrees centigrade, press the set button on the timer and the digits will start flashing. Press the up and down buttons to adjust to the desired time. Press the set button again to set the cure time. The panel will now begin to count down. The temperature will rise to 140 degrees centigrade. When the timer has counted down to zero, the curing cycle is complete and power to the heat pads will be shut down. Disconnect both the heat pads. Exhaust the air from the airbag by first pulling the slide air valves to the off position and then the quick release couplings can be disconnected from the airbag hoses. When the air has completely exhausted, remove the locking pins and remove the XLRBS assembly from the tyre, leaving it ready for the next repair.
points to remember. Always thoroughly dust both sides of the heat pads with talc before use. Do not lift the heat pads by the leads. Ensure heat pad is installed in the correct orientation. Never remove the locking pins until all the air has exhausted. Do not leave the equipment unattended. The power supply must be disconnected at the end of the working day. A better finish can be achieved by allowing the repair to cool below 100 degrees centigrade before releasing the pressure. Monoflex Tire Repair Systems 40 years of industry leading repair solutions. Monoflex offers complete repair solutions for any size tyre, quality components, exceptional durability and first-class global support and training. If you need further assistance, don't hesitate to get in touch via mail at monoflex.com or visit our website, monoflex.com.